On this episode of Tech Watch, I'm gonna review Ravagant's Virtual Retina Display Prototype. Oh my god, what time is it? Time for Tech Watch! Over the years, I've been a big fan of head mounted displays. Here is one that I bought like 12 years ago called the Eyeglasses. You put these on and you hook it up with your composite or um, S video connections. It simulates a 35 foot video screen at 35 feet away. So it's not that amazing. It's not like a uh, big, you're si it's not like you're sitting in front of a big movie th screen. It just, it's like looking at like this, but far, it's farther. The resolution for this is really bad. This is back in the day of standard definition TVs and it's worse than standard definition. The quality per eye is worse than standard definition. This here on the side, it had a 3D switch. So you can watch uh, 3D stereoscopic videos. But the only thing I could find in 3D that was compatible with this were VHS tapes of softcore porn. And the girls would be on a bed, stripping their clothes off, and the bed would be spinning, and there would be like a plant in front of them that looked like it was in 3D. This year in 2013, Oculus VR came out with this development kit of the Oculus Rift. This one's awesome because it's totally immersive and you can look around, it tracks your head movement. You're in a virtual world now. And the potential in the future is that you can watch movies in a big movie theater just like the eyeglasses, but it would also have head tracking as if you were in a real movie theater. In this past weekend, I went to Engadget's Expand Showcase of all the latest hot new technology and gadgets. So I waited in line to get a demonstration of Avagon's new virtual retina display prototype. As I watched other people try it, it looked like they had a good experience. It looked like a lot of people thought it they, you could see the smile on people's faces. And when I got to try it on, I noticed that it's not as immersive as the Oculus Rift, which takes up almost your whole field of view. This one is as if you're looking at a box or what they say, a window. Um, it's like looking at a, a little diorama right here. You can fix the focus on each eye and then also make the images converge with this prototype. I had the hardest time to make the the images converge. I kept getting double vision. I don't know why. I feel like my eyesight is pretty darn good. I don't wear glasses or contact lenses. I don't know why I couldn't get the images to converge in 3D. It was just looking at uh, double vision the whole time. But I could definitely say that the image quality was superb. The image quality was very vivid and there was no pixelation, no screen door effect like you get on the Oculus Rift. The resolution per eye is a little bit better than 720p. It looks so sharp. It looks very vivid. So this virtual retina display has a bunch of mirrors that shine light into your eye. Much how real life is where light comes into your eye. In real life you're not looking at a video screen. You're just letting light absorb into your eyes. Just based on the image quality alone, I can see how this is gonna be pretty darn good. They're gonna have a newer prototype in December. They're gonna have a Kickstarter in January. And they're gonna start shipping orders around six months after the Kickstarter. And it will be the actual finished consumer product, not a development kit. So I'm excited for 2014. We're talking about the finished consumer product of the Oculus Rift. We're talking about this new Avagant's virtual retina display. This is gonna be really exciting to watch some porn on with the bed spinning around and the, the tree plants in front of it.